Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix Channel. It's Thursday. Oh, the week, she is flying by. Today, gonna continue on with the Happy New Year tutorials with the uh, preset that I made on Monday and then add stuff to on Tuesday. We're gonna add some more stuff to it, show you how I do a lead boost using the expression pedal, how to create a great 80s clean sound, and snapshots. And some fun stuff with, uh, you know, frequencies and quads and RAM, I don't know. Let's go. Okay, here we are at the preset. I have added a few things because, but they're not enabled. So far we've just got the, uh, the sound we had the other day. Just a really nice clean town. Clean town. Using the strat, the Jimmy Vaughn strat on the combination neck and middle pickup. Now, I like chorus as much as the next guy, but I prefer to use pitch shifting uh, when it comes to uh, that type of effect to modulation. I don't like phasing, I don't like flanging. I mean, chorus is great. It can be a little bit cloying though, I find. And I like to use pitch shifting. So an old trick from the 80s is to have a pitch shifter that took the uh, the guitar down nine cents and then up nine cents. So I've got one that goes negative nine. Whoops, that one's supposed to go positive nine. What the hell happened here? It's all gone to hell. So we've got one that goes positive nine and negative nine. All the rest of the parameters are the same. And it kind of depends where you put effects. I like to put this particular one before the amp. It just sounds better that way. Uh, the top end is better that way. If I put it after the, uh, the IR or after other effects over here, the top end is a just a tiny bit muted. And if that's something you're going for, then by all means put them over there. So, you know, it's really good to experiment where you put effects in the chains. Because with some effects, it makes a huge difference. Fuzz, for example overdrives, for example, uh, delays, reverbs, the, uh, I'm going to turn that stupid thing off. Somebody's texting me. Some asshole. Anyway, so here's what we get. Good stuff. I'm a big fan of the 9 and 9 pitch shifter trick. Next thing, now the, uh, the snapshots thing with the Helix was a revelation for me and before the snapshots, man I can't even remember what life was like before snapshots. It was so gray and lifeless and now everything is great. I set mine up to have 8 snapshots as you can see and to do that what you need to do is you need to go into the uh, menu then you got to go into global settings and I'm going to take you through my global settings just for the hell of it. I have the pad on, keeps it from uh, clipping and I also set my uh, outputs both to instrument and mic. That also keeps the output uh, at, a, at a volume where it won't actually clip ever and I like that because some people run a line out I don't like that because it's just too hot of a signal and sound men will freak out if you send them a uh, line level signal in a lot of cases because it'll just peak the board blah 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 and it does depend on the the board they're going into and the sound man but I just do it you know it's a precaution and it sounds better to me without uh, uh, set to these settings I don't change anything else for this um, the foot switches is where you go to set up eight snapshots. I set them to uh, eight switches auto return and then over in preferences discard and those are all the settings that you need for snapshots to make that work. And just hit the home button I'm back. Now we can uh, for our first snapshot basically all we do is if you want to uh, have you know your uh, your big 
nice big pitch shift sound. Just hit the uh, push in, the big preset knob over here. Press rename snapshot, and then call it something. We'll call it Big P for short. Insert that over. Give it a fun color from the 80s. Turquoise, that'll do. And save the preset. Anytime you go between snapshots, make sure you save it before you start working on the next snapshot or, you'll, or you can lose your information. Now, going over to the next one. Uh, say I want this one to sound like, uh, you know, a crazy clean 80s tone. Awesome, let's do that. What do you do? Well, first, we're going to need to make some changes to the IRs. The low cut needs to come up. So to snapshot enable something, what you do is you press in on the button here and then turn it. The color will turn white above the parameter and then you can make your changes. Now I want to change both IRs, the, the low cut on both of them. Press it in, turn it to the right. Just making some small changes. And I brought in a few EQs. And it's important to understand the EQ uh, range or the frequency range of the guitar, of the electric guitar, and how the, uh, the EQs will affect that. So for this particular one, I'm making it extremely uh, light on the bottom end. So I'm pulling out, and these are both exactly the same, pulling out negative 12 dB at 31.25 hertz. And both of these are below the guitar's perceived range or actual range, but not their perceived range because you can actually feel this and you can feel both of these these frequencies on the guitar in overtones. When you mute stuff, you'll actually feel those, those frequencies. So they're still important frequencies to adjust even though they're, you know, the, the guitar's range is, you know, technically outside of those parameters or those, you know, those numbers. I'm pulling down a bunch and then I'm stopping at 1K. I'm not pulling down anymore. I'm not raising anything else. And I'm leaving the top end alone. And here's what I get. I get a very... Let's adjust these even more. We want a super 80s clean tone which means it's very light, save that real quick, on the bottom end. And maybe I will make some changes to, uh, to the top end as well. I'll bump up a little bit, a little bit of 2K and a little 4K, both the same amount. Let's see what we get. There we go. Good stuff. The uh, uh, the reverb, I'm just bringing it back in from where it was. I changed a little bit of the, of the parameters. Just, you know, raise the decay up and the mix, just to make it even more 80s. There's your 80s clean. Let's push in the uh, preset button, rename, call it 80s clean. long way on that one. 80s clean, violet. There we go, and save the preset. Now we've got a pair of snapshots. We go from our big P with the 
big bottom end to it. For on the uh, neck pickup. Then go to the 80s clean. Good stuff. Finally, let's, I'll show you how to uh, do the lead with the expression pedal. What I usually do for leads. And first thing we need to do is let's go over to the amp model and we're gonna use the master parameter. So we need to hit the menu button, controller assign, go over to master, expression pedal two because that's the default expression and we're going to set the uh, the minimum to where it was was 7.7 and we're just going to crank it all the way to 10 just for an exaggerated uh, demonstration. Let's go down to the bottom one see where that one's set. It's set at 9 so let's go to uh, hit the uh, controller assign again master pedal 2 let's go 9 Actually, here's what we do. Let's go into this one. Let's change that because I normally would, on this particular amp, would go 8.8 .8 to 9. So then we hit the home button and save the preset. Another thing we do, go over here. The gain control is also another great way to uh, boost your, your volume for leads. What I do, hit the controller assign, gain, Expression pedal 2, where it was was 4.4, we're going to bring it up to 5.5. That won't actually make it distorted because we've still got a clean sound here, but it'll boost the volume. Alright, now I'm going to hit a chord and push the expression pedal forward. <laughs> Good stuff. That works really well with an overdriven sound as well. Um, I use that particular technique for basically all of my leads with the Helix and it you know, sometimes I'll also incorporate uh, the drive on the amplifier in that as well. You know, if, I'm, if I've got a, say, a, a rhythm sound that, uh, that's just, you know, not as overdriven as I want, I'll also snapshot enable the drive conf uh, parameter. So I'll just push it in, turn it to the right, say I want it to come up to 6.6. .6. Uh, actually, what I just did was I, I just snapshot enabled it. So, to unsnapshot enable something, you go into the uh, the controller signs, turn off the snapshot. The drive, we want to make that expression pedal 2. So we were at 5.5 and bring it up to 6.5. There, now the uh, you can see the drive goes up on the amp along with the master. And the gain on the compressor. Kick ass. There you go, everybody. More good time, happy new year, tutorial fun. Huh. I will be back tomorrow with a free set Friday for you. Good times, all the time. And don't forget, there are uh, links in the description to my website. Check out the preset packages I've got over there. You could also donate if you wanted to. That'd be cool too. Be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Uh, and, you know, just going to continue showing people, uh, the new people, how to use and fully, fully utilize all the Helix uh, potential. There's a lot there. Hmm. So, I'll see you tomorrow. And until then, rock on.